How you doing? I'm Kevin O'Hara for alcoholmastery.com. Today's topic is committing yourself to the process of quitting drinking alcohol. Now, what I mean by that is, take quitting drinking alcohol for instance, right? You, you quit drinking, you don't put any alcohol into your mouth anymore, and that's it. You know, there's, there's nothing that can be measurable, right? You can't measure something like that. You can't measure the feeling that you're getting moving forwards, right? Day by day. Um, you know, you might feel good on one day, you might feel crappy on the next day, right? That's life. You can't measure, um, you know, the, the effect of your cravings on you. Um, you can, but I mean, you'll be doing it all the time. You know, you'll be taking notes and taking notes here and taking notes there, but you know, it's just a, too much of a laborious process and the outcome is definitely not gonna be certain. You know, many of these things are just very difficult to measure. Um, I'll give you an example of something else. Uh, if you go to the gym every day, for instance, right? And you're pumping up and you're using weights and stuff like that. And you come back at the end of the day. What do you see? You see nothing. You don't see an improvement, right? And you could do this every day and every day you come back and you don't see an improvement. You only see improvements when you look at these things from a long-term perspective, right? You take a photograph of yourself on day one, you take another photograph of yourself on day 30 and you compare the two, right? You measure yourself on day one, measure yourself on day 30 and compare the two, right? Same thing if you go on a diet. You go on a diet and you could starve yourself for a day and you look at yourself in the mirror and what do you see? Nothing. You don't see any difference, right? It's only at the end of the week when you weigh yourself um, and you compare it to the weight that you started out with that you see the difference, right? Uh, it's only when you try and put on a pair of pants that used to be too small for you and now they fit. You know, it's the same with anything in life. These things are gradual. It's the process that matters. Relationships, you know, when you're in, in a relationship with somebody, you know, a lot of people think it's all to do with those grand gestures um, on Valentine's Day or, you know, Christmas and birthdays and the presents and all that kind of stuff. It's not. Relationships are built over time, you know. Um, you know, if I went out one night and I said, I met this girl um, and the day later I said, yeah, we're getting married and stuff. You'd think I was an idiot. You know, that's not the way things happen. It's a gradual process. You know, it starts out as as uh, you ask for the date, you take somebody out for a drink or a meal or go to the pictures and you talk and you talk and people get to know each other and you do different things together and it's the accumulation of all those things that makes the difference. You know, brushing your teeth is another one. You know, you brush your teeth every day, you look at your teeth in the mirror, well, you don't really see any difference, right? But it's in the long term where the difference is. You brush your teeth every day, you keep away um, the tooth fairy. <laughs> You know, it's the same with quitting drinking alcohol, right? And the process afterwards. You know, the process of moving yourself forward is all about the small little things that you do every day. You know, every time you say no to alcohol, every time you think about alcohol and push it out of your mind, think about something different. You know, individually, these things don't really matter, right? But it's the accumulation of these things that creates um, a distance between yourself and the alcohol. Same thing when you're building a new life. It's the accumulation of all these things. It's the process. The whole process is dynamic. It's all the time moving forward. It's exactly the same way as your habit developed in the first place. It's not the one drink that matters. It's the accumulation of all those drinks put together. That's what causes the rituals, that's what builds the behaviours and eventually that's what solidifies everything into a habit. Small things, concentrate on doing those small things and that's where you build it up, you know. Quitting drinking alcohol is not about putting yourself under massive pressure not to drink again for the rest of your life. That will take care of itself. You don't have to do that. That's just part of the natural process. You just do the little things that matter. You do the accumulation of little things. You build up the dynamics. 
you concentrate on the process. If you have any questions, any comments, leave them down below. I'd love to hear them. Uh, until next time, keep concentrating. Just on focus your mind on doing the little things right. You don't have to do everything right. But you have to accumulate a lot of little things over and over and over again. If you keep doing that, you will build anything you want in life. You will eliminate anything you want in life. That's the way it works. Concentrate on the process. Until next time, I'm Kevin O'Hara for AlcoholMastery.com. Take care of yourself. Onwards and upwards. Good luck.